Welcome guys, please make sure you check out the video of the cutting of this jogger jumpsuit before you jump straight to this sewing video. So to start the sewing, I first of all bend by half then fold by one inch and I did that for both sides of the buttonhole line. Then I used one to overlap each other by half inch, after which I placed the back piece on the front piece. Then I'll be making a half inch stitch to join both on the shoulder line. By making those half inch stitches on the shoulder line, we've succeeded in joining the front and the back pieces together. Automatically, one part of the front piece would be one inch long, longer than the other part. And this is the only way the front and the back piece would be exactly the same shape and size. So if you check out the pattern drafting video, you will see where we did all those mathematics. So I'll be working on the neck. But before I start working on the neck, I need to pin down the buttonhole line. That is making sure one part is covering the other part. Because for a female attire, the buttonholes are always on the left part while the buttons are on the right part. While for a male, it is the other way around. So after pinning down with my pin, I will be able to fold the whole outfit into two. So I will be able to get my exact center points now when I fold. The next thing to do is to cut out the fabric we are using for the making of the Peter Pan collar. So you fold the fabric into two like that. So I'll be folding the black fabric into two then I'll be placing my piece on it, making sure the back is on the same line with the folded fabric. So the back needs to be on the same line with the folded fabric because the back piece is also folded into two. So both needs to be on the same line. That's just all you need for precautive measure. So after that, you just go straight to the cutting you cut through the shape of the neckline then after cutting you will determine where you want your Peter Pan collar to start from if you want it to start from the buttonhole line or the middle of the buttonhole line so after cutting out that shape like that I'll be determining how wide I want the Peter Pan collar to be and for this I'll be marking 3 inches all through because if I finish sewing I should be getting something in the range of 2 inches because half inch will be chopped off on both sides when I'm sewing. So I'll make sure my markings are closed so I can be able to get the curve I need. So after getting the curve, I'll make use of my scissors and just cut off. Now I'll make a curve on the front part because my collar will not start from the buttonhole line. It will start from like one inch before the buttonhole line. So I'll be making use of my pin to hold both pieces both fabric down because I don't want one to be wider than the other and then I'll go straight to the cutting process After cutting out the Peter Pan collar, you would also cut out a piece you use in turning it. So the Peter Pan collar will have a front and a back piece and you will place both right face facing right face, making sure both are exactly the same size and shape. Then you make a half inch stitch from the end like that, from the tip of the end. You make your half inch stitch all through to the tip of the other end. After preparing the collar, I will be notching the edge of the buttonhole like that. So I also notch the other edge of the buttonhole. I will notch the center of the collar itself. And after notching the center of the collar, I would also notch the center of the back piece of the fabric itself. And after doing all these notches, I will go straight to the fixing of the Peter Pan collar. 
So I'll notch the back piece like that. Then I'll go straight to the fixing. As you can see, I'm placing the collar and the back piece together on that notched point. And I'm also using a, a fabric to turn it. So that fabric I'll just place on top and also pin it down. So I place the collar on the back piece, then I place the fabric on both. So I'll pin it down to the left. Then when I get to the notched part of the buttonhole line, I will use that to turn it to the other side. And then I'll also do the same to the right. I'll be cutting off the excesses. And mind you, you'd also be folding on the edge. So after cutting, you fold on the edge. So I'll do the same to the right side as well. I'll pin all three pieces down. That's the actual fabric, the collar, and the piece I use in turning it. So I'll pin all three down to the edge. And when I get to the notched part of the buttonhole line, I'll use it to turn it as well. And I would also pin it down. And mind you, you'll be folding that piece you are using to turn on the edge as well. Then I'll make my half inch stitch all through.